Hey, this is Anthony with Revzilla TV, and welcome to the detailed breakdown of the CD Cobra boot, which is new for the fall of 2010. Basically, the Cobra is a welcomed addition to the CD lineup. It's going to fall at the $250 price point, and it's going to have an air version as well as a rain version available, and I'll get to that in a section. But what they've basically done with the Cobra is they've taken some of the higher end elements out of the Vertigo, but they've used all of the typical everyday track day race and riding features that they could get and they've come out with a boot that won't break the bank. So what you're going to have in the CD lineup these days, you're going to have the Vortice at a top end price point of $475, that's going to be the pro level boot. You also had the $300 Vertigo, which basically shared similar features as the Vortice, but then had an adjustable calf system on the back. What they've done for the Cobra is they've lost that adjustable calf system but they've kept a lot of shin hard parts, um, ankle hard parts, the nice reinforced ankle cockpit here, the CD vertebrae system, so you have heel hard parts and it goes up the back of the leg to, uh, or the back of the calf rather, to protect your Achilles tendon. You also have the aerodynamic toe slider, which is bolt on and fully replaceable, which is an upgrade over what they've shown in previous um, mid range versions. You have the DuPont Teflon coated toe um, shifter here. It's going to be a full grain leather upper. Notice it's a single cleft closure on the inside here, so you have Velcro, you have a full zipper there, and what they've done to counteract the fact that they've gotten rid of this back adjustability for the calf is they've given you a slight stretch panel here on the inside of the leg towards the top, you come in tight on that. Also notice that it's a non-replaceable um, shin hard part. So these guys are really meant to be for that guy who's the, the weekend warrior track day rider, the spirited street rider, the guy who thinks of himself as a racer or a track day guy but doesn't want to invest in a full $475 or even a $350 boot for the new CDST that might be a little overkill for everyday riding. It's going to have the same sole that all these boots use which is the dual compound sole which is meant to give flex and feel but also be stiff around the heel and be shock absorbing in the, uh, in the heel cup. has a removable um, a removable instep arch that you can pull, pull out to custom fit this boot. But really at $250, it comes in a handful of you know black, red. It also comes in a white, black option, which you haven't seen from CD in a very long time, which is gonna be excited to you guys that are out there in white suits that wanna match and have everything look really pro when it comes together. You know, the air version is full perforated Lorica in the exterior, so it's for great for the guys in the Northeast to do most of their riding in the summertime. You know, it's gonna be the same price at $250 for the full air version. And then you're also gonna have the rain version, so it's gonna be the Cobra rain boot, and it's gonna have CD's proprietary waterproof breathable membrane. It comes in black only, but what it's gonna do is be fuller water, fully waterproof, fully breathable, allow you to perspire out, keep that microclimate in the boot, stay comfortable when you're doing your rain or uh, spirited road riding. Now I want to come back here, I want to show the inside one more time. If I pull it down here, you can see it's the comfort wick liner that's going to pull sweat away, keep it away from your skin, give you the best chance to not be clammy, to keep you warm, keep you dry, or keep you cool and keep you dry rather, depending on the riding condition. Whenever you see garments that have these tiny bubble liners, what that does is it creates a thermal or an insulative air barrier, so where you have a layer of air trapped between your skin and the boot, or your skin and the garment rather, and what that does is it gives you the best chance at a microclimate. So if your feet are too hot, you know, you're going to allow that, that air is going to pull heat, excess heat away. If you're too cool, if you're riding in the cooler months of the year, that microclimate is going to insulate, it's actually going to use air as a barrier to keep heat in versus being in contact with the exterior of the boot that's going to do a good job of wind blocking anyway. So once again, this is the $250 CD Cobra boot brand new for fall of 2010. We think it's going to be around for at least a few years as a staple at the entry level price point from CD. Now they have some other boots that are going to be a little bit lower end, be more street oriented. This is very much their first step when you're starting to think about track day riding. You need that level of protection to cover you when you're on the bike high speed in a track or race scenario. The CD Cobra boot available at revzilla.com slash CD dash boots. If you have any questions about it, shoot us a line cs at revzilla.com or 877-792-9455. We can help you compare and contrast this boot against anything you might see out there from TCX or Alpine Stars or some of the other um, race related boot manufacturers that we do have. As always, it's over 39 bucks. It'll ship for free. If you get the wrong size, we'll always ship you that first size exchange for free as well. And you can always earn Teamzilla cash. On this boot, you earn 10 bucks back towards your next order, automatically applied at revzilla.com. Most guys that ride on the track typically need a handful of gear, boots, suits, gloves, boots. So. When you're doing that, if you take advantage of our loyalty program, we'll help you save some money over the long term. Thanks for watching today. We'll see you next time on RevZilla TV.